Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 2.1 complex diagrams. 2.1 represents Chapter 2, Section 1 of the Corpio 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Complex numbers can be represented on an Argan diagram. The x-axis is called the real axis. The y-axis is called the imaginary axis. Consider a complex number z equal x plus yi for some constants x and y greater than 0. Now this complex number z can be represented on an Argan diagram by the point x, y. So here is my Argan diagram. The horizontal axis represents the real axis and the vertical axis represents the imaginary axis. Here is the point x, y representing the complex number z. These are the key facts of 2.1 Argan diagrams. I'll be implementing these key facts within one exam style question. Here is an exam style question. The solutions to the quadratic equation z squared minus 6z plus 10 equal to 0 are z1 and z2. Part A, find z1 and z2, giving your answers in the form p plus or minus qy, where p and q are integers. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So in part A, we have the quadratic equation z squared minus 6z plus 10 equal to 0. I'm going to solve this by completing the square. So if I complete the square, I get z minus 3 in bracket squared minus 9 plus 10 equal to 0. So this simplifies to z minus 3 in bracket squared plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can take the 1 to the right hand side so I've got z minus 3 in bracket squared equal to minus 1. The next step is to take the plus or minus square root of negative 1. So I've got z minus 3 is equal plus or minus square root of negative 1. But we know that square root of negative 1 can be split into square root 1 multiplied by square root negative 1. Okay, so we know that square root 1 is just 1 multiplied by square root negative 1 is defined as i. So 1 times i is just i. So if I go back to this equation here, I've got z minus 3 is equal to plus or minus i. So if I make z the subject, ladies and gents, I get z equal 3 plus or minus i. Okay, so now I can deduce my solutions, z1 and z2. So my z1 is equal 3 plus i, and my z2 is equal 3 minus i, or vice versa. So this completes part A of the exam style question. Let's have a look at part B. Show on an Argan diagram the points representing the complex numbers z1 and z2. So in part B, I'm going to draw an Argan diagram. Here is my Argan diagram. This is the real axis. And this is the imaginary axis. So let's begin with z1, which is 3 plus i. Okay, so z1 is 3 plus i. 3 along the real axis and 1 along the imaginary axis. So my complex number looks something like this. So this is my z1. I can write it as a coordinate, and the coordinate will be 3 and 1. Then I've got z2, which is 3 minus i. So I go 3 along the real axis and negative 1 along the imaginary axis. So my z2 will look something like this. So this one here is my z2, represented by the point 3 and negative 1. This is the origin. Okay, so that there completes the exam style question and this teaching video 2.1 Argand diagrams. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.